I'm going to show you how to do Cornell method note taking. The first step is that you have to divide your page into different sections. You want the top of your page to be there. The bottom of your page should be about a little bit more than an inch above the bottom. And you want to have your left margin not where the red margin is on your page, but much further in, about that far in. Whoops. Don't worry if it's not neat. It's okay if it's a little messy. Don't make it crazy messy, but a little messy is okay. All right, that's a pretty good division for a Cornell sheet. Now, at the very top, you want to put the title of whatever it is you're taking notes on. In this case, you're taking notes on how to take Cornell notes, so that'll be the title. How to take Cornell notes. Please take a moment to make your page look like mine. You can pause the video. Now, you're going to add the source of the notes. and you're going to give the pay, I'm sorry, the date that you're taking the notes. In this case, you're taking the notes on the 12th of September in 2010. I'm sorry, 2012. If you're taking these notes on a different day, please take the note, please give the date that you're actually taking the notes. Okay, once your page looks like mine, we go on to the next step. The next step is actually taking notes on the process or the topic that you're listening about. Now, you don't take the notes over here. You take the notes in this big section and you take them sequentially. So, the first step so far, divide the page. Label with title, source, and date and then take sequential notes. That means take notes in the sequence or the order in which you got them. Please pause the video and take a moment to make your page look like mine right now. After you have made your page look like mine, you're taking the notes about note taking right now, so it's sort of meta. Um, you want to Add in the left margin any key words that describe what it is that you've just learned. So maybe for here, dividing the page, maybe a key word for me here would be organize. And then over here, label with title, source, date. Oh, okay, good word there, good keyword, label. And then, oh, over here, notes. So those are all. Uh, keywords that you add after the lecture is over. So you listen to the whole lecture, the whole lesson, and you take the notes in here, and you take them in the order that you got them, and then you make these keywords show up on the left. That'll just help you to remember what's going on over here, so you don't have to read the whole thing to remember, oh yeah, it was about this. So take a moment to make your page look like mine. And then, at the bottom of the page, you do a summary. So, the summary for this might be something like Cornell notes help students stay organized by sectioning off portions of the page for various purposes. Okay. So, your assignment is going to be, let me see if I can get that a little closer so you can actually read that a little bit better. Um, your assignment is going to be to make your page look exactly like mine. So if you need to stop this video and back it up, 
and do it again so that you can see exactly what your page should look like, that's fine. That's the whole point of these videos. Uh, this particular video is just a process video, but understand that you know I want to. I'm going to be comparing your result for what uh, what you copied down here with what I copy, what I put down here. So that's your goal for tomorrow is to have a page that's organized and written on just like mine. Okay? And I'll see you tomorrow.